pro-life groups are keeping a close eye on midterm elections, especially in key battleground states. Arizona's race between Republican Blake Masters and Democratic incumbent Senator Mark Kelly is being followed by many, including Susan B. Anthony, pro-life America. Cap Cap Capitol Hill correspondent, that is, Eric Rosales reports. A handful of states will be crucial in deciding who has control of the Senate, and Arizona is one of them. Both sides are pouring millions into the race. At least one poll shows Democrat Senator Mark Kelly with a slight 6% lead over political newcomer Blake Masters. Organizations like Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America are making sure their supporters know the voting record of candidates on abortion. It claims Senator Kelly portrays himself as a moderate, but is really a, quote, pro-abortion radical, adding that he is one of the original co-sponsors of the Women's Health Protection Act, which allows for abortion on demand. We believe that this is going to have an, a huge backlash um, come Election Day because a majority of Americans oppose the, the agenda uh, set by Mark Kelly and his fellow incumbent Democrats. They want abortion on demand up until the moment of birth at taxpayer expense. Susan B. Anthony, Pro-Life America and its partner, Women Speak Out PAC, are on the ground in nine key battleground states. Mallory Carroll tells me polling across abortion policy has been consistent over the last decade. It shows majority of Americans support some limits on abortion like the 15-week abortion ban proposed by Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, and also oppose the use of taxpayer dollars to fund abortions. If we want to start saving babies in states like California, New York, Illinois, my home state of Maryland, places where we have extreme pro-abortion leadership, we need a federal minimum protection that would save so many lives, Eric. So this is so important. EWTN News Nightly reached out to Senator Mark Kelly's campaign for a comment about the statements made by the Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America organization. However, our emails did not receive a response. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.